we're ready, I think. I'm not actually positive about that. What? We're not fucking ready! I don't even have any lighting! For the past few months, me and Michael Roots have had an intense rivalry on iRacing, going toe-to-toe -to -toe on his live streams where he and I have gotten the best of each other. No! Go. No! Go. No! 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 Yes! Yes! Hey Michael, join me for some burnouts. Hold on, hold on, let me use your bumper please. Give me a second. As of this upload, I currently have the series lead at three to one. The first to seven wins the whole thing, so we still have quite a ways to go. If you wanna watch those live streams, head on over to Michael Root's channel after this video. But the main point of this was to do some grade A hating. Because a few days ago, Moobs decided to run the full Indianapolis 500 on NR2003. NR2003 is one of the greatest racing games ever. I mean, in the year 2023, we're still modding it to where we can run indie cars. Unfortunately, Moobs couldn't mod extra talent because he ended up qualifying 27th. Such a slowpoke. But hey, I'll cut him a break. It's not where you start, it's where you finish, right? In order to make this a success, Moobs was going to have to, at the very least, finish up front in this Indy 500 simulation. Here we go, everybody. The 107th running of the Indianapolis 500 is green! Oh, oh no. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking Takuma! Oh shit! Ah! This was gonna be harder than originally thought. I know NR2003 is one of the greatest games, but oh my gosh, the AI can be atrocious sometimes. And that's not how an actual IndyCar pit stop works. But anyways, once Moobs got back on the track, it was pretty obvious he was scared, which is understandable considering he was involved in a wreck on lap two, a wreck in which he basically arca braked. For a little bit in the very beginning, he chose to run all the way in the back. But once he got his balls back, he was able to run extremely competitive in the first half of the race. The only issue was it was a first half filled with nothing but chaos. I don't like this lol. The fuck did I say? The fuck did I say? Oh my god! That was huge! You alright? I don't know. Again! The yellow flag is out. We got a wreck in turn four. We got trouble. Gotta be kidding me! Remember, don't pass the stop sign at the end of pit road. The pace car is in turn one. Eat my balls! The pace car is in the south chute. I'm not getting penalized for this. Man, you drive like a fucking crazy. What? What did I do? Damn, Moobs, a second Arca break incident and the crew chief was even getting on your head? Oh, that's right. Excuse me. Since it's IndyCar, the race strategist was straight up roasting him. Even though the first half of the race was extremely chaotic, he was still competitive. Finally, on lap 132, Moobs was able to take the lead. Out of all of the cautions that had taken place, little did we know that the final one would happen on lap 152. The rest of the race consisted of mostly green flag action. Moobs was able to hold on to the lead for quite some time, even leading the most laps in the race until Helio Castro Nevis's AI passed him on the outside. On the same lap, Helio didn't give any signals that he was pitting and nearly got clobbered. Seven laps later, Moobs finally made his green flag pit stop. Please don't tell me that's my competition. That's because I stayed out and they were all drafting together. Fuck! 
After earning that track position the entire race, Moobs blew it on one bad call. Should have definitely pitted earlier and oh my gosh, look at his face. <laughs> But look, even though he wasn't going to win, he was at the very least going to complete the race and get a top 5 finish, right? Right, Moobs? I don't know how well that worked. It didn't work at all. Not only did you bump yourself out of the top five, you're not even going to get a top 10 finish anymore. Oh my gosh. That is not how an IndyCar pit stop works. Look, we all know at this point, Moobs is basically a fool all the time, but to give up a solid finish, Oh, brother. But you know what? It's just a video game. There are no points and money on the line. This is just for fun. So you know what? The fact that Moobs is about to finish his simulated Indianapolis 500 is quite an accomplishment. Congratulations, Moobs. It is time to bring that car across the finish line just one more time. We survived. We managed to complete all 200 laps. Oh, holy crap, you blew the friggin' engine. White flag, one more lap to go. Okay, there's the flag. Let's get that piece of shit out of here. Do you understand this sort of shit doesn't happen to other people? Blows the fucking motor. Coming to take the white flag. I don't know whether to laugh or to cry uncontrollably. And you come to a rest at the start finish line of the final lap. There is no fucking way that is possible. That's right. <laughs> Boobs didn't even finish the freaking race. He went through all that pain and suffering during the race to have it end like that. It's even more brutal when you look at the final results. Finishes not only outside of the top 10, one lap short of completing the full distance, but also led 65 laps. In total, 15 cautions for 59 laps and 59 lead changes amongst 13 drivers. DeFrancesco's AI won the race, a race in which which Moobs let slip right through his fingertips. In conclusion, Moobs will no doubt be forever known as an Indy 500 failure. It's one thing to lose a race that you're dominating, but to not make the distance and even stop on the yard of bricks with one lap to go? That'll forever be remembered as one of the funniest yet most cruelest things to ever happen on a live stream. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is Moobs an Indy 500 failure? Was this one of the most funniest things you have ever seen on YouTube? And do you think Moobs will redeem himself in next year's Indy 500 simulation? And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time. Stay on the outside line. That was a quick yellow. 45 car on the outside line. Man, you drive like a fucking pussy. What? Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. What did I do?